As you've just seen, not every invention works out exactly right the first time around. Which is why, as Bill Geist shows us, the true spirit of inventiveness is a willingness to try, try again. By now, we were supposed to be living in a techno paradise of jetpacks, space colonies, and robots that waited on us hand and foot. So, what happened? Rolo, answer the door. Yes, ma'am, ma'am. Rolo, get. This was to be the future. Time here. But to this day, robots still pretty much dwell in the realm of science fiction. Oh, we've come up with a few new robots. But they cost millions to build, and then... Go for it! All they want to do is fool around. Very nice. It's an awesome monkey now. As far as robots that actually want to help out around the house, this is about it. Author Daniel Wilson laments such lack of progress in his new book. I always thought that the future was going to be what it looked like in the World's Fair predictions. Usually people envision humanoid robots that walk around and talk and they look like people. And as it turns out, that's really hard to do. The problem with science is that it's so sciencey. What's the success rate? Picking the uh, right one? Well, it varies depending on the day. <laughs> At the University of Washington in Seattle, Professor Rajesh Rao and his team are doing sciencey stuff with a robot named Morpheus. Mo to his friends. It's not going to win any sprints. No, it's more of a stroll. Mo does walk kind of funny. Actually, the little man of steel sort of sachets. Stop, stop, stop. And he is a bit of a klutz. Oh. But Mo is a sophisticated robot. Could make it. He responds to thought yes, commands. Yes, bravo. You think it? Mo does it. <laughs> okay, there we are. And you could put this trap on. All you have to do is put on a funny hat. It's it's harmless. <laughs> have wires poked into your head. I'm just having some highlights done for the prom tonight. <laughs> then your brain waves, if any, are analyzed and you're ready to go. All right, so shall we give it a whirl? Sure, let's try. You think hard about the red block, and Mo goes for the red block. Someday it could be a beer. He picked the red one, that's what I was thinking of. Then you think about the table with the white patch in the center, and that's where Mo puts it. Amazing. Nicely done. <laughs> that's one small step for Mo, and a pretty large leap for robot kind. More dispatches from the frontiers of science later on Sunday morning.